Shami drove 354 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur to his hometown in Terengganu. The table below shows his travel note. Okay, let us analyze this table first. He started his journey at 7 a.m. And after driving for 185 meters, he reached the Muro Rest and Service Area. So from 7 to 9.30 means that he already drove for 2 hours and 30 minutes. 2 hours, 30 minutes. So 2 hours, 30 minutes is actually equal to 150 minutes. So this is 150 minutes. So why do I want to convert it to minutes? Because you look at the, uh, the graph here, this is in minutes, this is in kilometer. Okay, so he rested there for some time and from 9.30 rested until 10.05. So we can calculate the time between 9.30 to 10.05. So you can calculate this way, like what you did in primary school, hours, minutes. So 10.05 minus 9.30. So this 05 cannot minus 30, right? So we have to borrow 1 hours from here. It becomes 9. 1 hours is equal to 60 minutes. So 60 plus 5, you will get 65. 65 minus 30, you will get 35. So means that, this means that he rested there for 35 minutes. Okay, then he continued his journey at 1.45. Eh, sorry, he continued his journey at 10.05 and reached his village at 1.45. So what's the time between 10.05 to 145. The so same thing, we can calculate like what you did just now. But this is a 12 hour system, I'm going to convert this to 24 hour system. So 145 pm is actually equal to 1345 hours. Okay, so minus 1005. So this will give you 40 minutes and this will, uh, this will give you uh, 3 hours. So I'm going to convert this to minutes. 3 hours, you have 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, right? So 3 times 60, you get 180, 180 minutes plus another 40 minutes will give you 220 minutes. So here is 220 minutes. Okay, so now let's look at part A. State the value of A and B. Let's look at A first. From this is uh, beginning, right? So it will be 7. From here is actually 7 a.m. After driving for 150 minutes, you see here, it's actually 9.30. So nine, this here is 9.30 a.m. Okay, so what is A? The, uh, the table tell the table tell you that after driving 185 kilometer, right? So the A will be equal to 185. This is 185. Okay, so from the table, we know that after reaching uh, the terminal rest and service area, he rested there for 35 minutes, right? So 150 minutes plus 35 minutes, right? So it will become 185. So same, B is equal to 185. But this is 185 kilometer. This is 185 minutes. Okay. So this is actually uh, 10.05, 10.05 a.m. Okay, let's go to the second part. Complete the graph for Shami, whole journey. So whole journey. So here is rest, right? After 
after one hundred after driving car for one hundred and fifteen minutes, he reached here and rest for thirty five minutes. So here I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So before that, let me draw a lot dotted line first. Let me change this line to dotted line. Okay, this is just a horizontal line because rest. He didn't move, just rest there. So the distance from his beginning uh, place doesn't change. Okay, so why here is 405? This means that he, for the whole journey, he already spent 405 minutes. So you can take this 150 plus 35 plus 220, you actually get 405. Okay, from here to here is actually, this is 185, right? B is 185. So 185 plus 220, you get 405. This means that here is actually 145 p.m. He already reached his destination, which is 354 uh, kilometer from Kuala Lumpur. So same thing, let me draw a dotted line first. Go up like this. Here's the same thing, draw or draw the line. Okay, so this I'm going to change it to dotted line. Okay, so this is the answer for part B. We have completed the graph for Sami whole journey. Okay, let's go to part C. Calculate the average speed in kilometer per hour is very important. You need to look at the, the unit requested by the question. So the question wants us to give our answer in kilometer per hour, and this is minutes. So what we need to do is we have to change the minutes to become hours. So when we calculate the average speed, we take the total distance travel divided by the total time taken, include the time for rest, right? Okay, now, first, let me convert this 405 minutes to hours first. Do you still remember how do we convert this? So you can do it this way, divided by 60. Okay, this means that 6 hours and 45 minutes. So 6 hours and 45 minutes, or, or you can just do it this way, maybe it will be easier. Okay, let me show you this way first. So this is uh, 405 minutes is actually equal to 6 hours, 45 minutes. Right? So how do we change 45 minutes to hours? We take 45 divided by 60, right? So this is actually 0 0.7 hours plus this, it will actually equal to 6.75 hours. Or another easier way is just take, just use the calculator 405 divided by 60. You get 6.75 hours. Okay, now we know that the total time taken for this whole journey is 6.75 hours. So we can calculate the average speed easily. So this is the answer for part C. Total distance travel for the whole journey is 354 uh, kilometers. Total time taken is 6.75 hours. So this is in kilometer, this is in hours. So our final units for average speed will be in kilometer per hour. Just press your calculator 354 divided by 6.75. Okay, 
So if you write in fraction, it will be 52 and 9 and 409 kilometer per hour. So if you give in decimal, you just round off it to two decimal places. So 52.44 kilometer per hour. Okay, now let's look at another question, question number six. I think the question here is actually um, need to add one more word here, which is shorter. Okay, let's go to the whole questions. The distance between Tanjung Malim and Sungai Petani is X kilometer. Let me draw a diagram for you first. Tanjung Malim. And this is Sungai Petani. The distance between these two places is actually X kilometer. A car was driven from Tanjung Malim to Sungai Petani this way. At an average speed of 90 kilometer per hour. The return journey go back when the car was driven at an average speed of 105 km per hour it means faster so uh, took 30 minutes i think this is not correct the questions actually want to say took 30 minutes shorter so because this is faster so the time span will be shorter right okay so this is actually 30 minutes shorter so calculate the value of x. Try to think, how do we find the time taken? I hope that you still remember this triangle, VST. If we want to find the time taken, we need to take the distance divided by the speed, right? Okay. So the time spent for this journey from Tanjung Malim to Sungai Petani, how do we find the time? Distance divided by time. Oh, sorry, distance divided by speed. Distance is, we don't know, we just x kilometer, right? Why is the time taken? Oh, sorry, why is the speed 90 kilometer per hour? So this will give us how many hours, right? How many hours? We get the time in hours. How many hours? Okay, so try to think, how do we calculate the time taken for the return journey. Same thing, we want to we want to calculate the time taken, distance divided by speed. So distance still the same, which is x kilometer, and the speed is 105. So here we will get how many hours. Okay, so we don't know how many hours, but the question tells us that 30 minutes shorter. This and this actually different. 30 minutes. So the answer for here is 30 minutes shorter than this because this is faster, right? When you drive faster, you the time you spend on the journey will be shorter. Okay, let's form an equation. We know this number must be larger than this one because short, uh, slower will be you you will need longer time, right? So x over 90 minus this x over 105 will give you the difference between their time, the time spent from the, uh, on the journey. So which is equal to 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes shorter. But this is in hours. This is this hour. This is in hours as well. So need this, we need to change it to hour also. So this is actually 0 0.5, right? So now we want to change the denominator become the same first. This multiply by 105, this multiply by 105, and do the same thing here. This time, this we need to multiply by 90, multiply by 90. Okay, here will become 105x, 90x. So this will become 90 times 105. This is actually 0 0.5. Okay, so 105 minus 90, you get 15x, 0 0.5 times 
90, 10.05, you will get 9450. Okay, so here we'll give you 4, 7, 2, 5. This is 15x. So x is actually equal to 4, 7, 2, 5 divided by 15. Okay, so 4, 7, 2, 5 divided by 15. The answer is 3, 1, 5. So this means that the distance between Tanjung Malim and Sungai Pedani is 315 kilometers.